you are no longer painting actively, so therefore uh, many have said um, that you are comparable to Frederick Remington was to the Old West. Um, how do you feel when somebody says that to you? No, it's, it's more of a compliment than I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, and I, and I always appreciate it. There have been, I, I have a whole file, literally, of, of I call them our love letters of how some of my artwork and stuff has changed their lives and how much it's meant to them. And mm -hmm. we've kept all those letters over the years. Um, uh, perhaps more than any of the monetary situation uh, that comes with, with a successful career, I think that means more than anything uh -huh. to me. Um, uh, how people view you and, and the type of life that you've led and lived, uh, you've impacted on other people's lives, and I think that's real important. I don't, I'm not sure why God put us here other than to leave a pretty good trail. And those trails, I think, are the most important thing we can leave behind. Outstanding. Outstanding. And as I said, the artwork is no longer available. So mm -hmm. if you're lucky enough to be in a gallery or have an opportunity to hit a museum where Gary's artwork is on display, quite literally, it is around the world. Um, he's not going to like me saying this, but if it ever comes for sale and you've got an opportunity to pick one up, you'll see that in, in the dimensions of his paintings, um, everyone that I've have worked with and seen the artwork for many, many years, you know, has said it's, it's soothing because it almost feels like you're really there. Gary, I want to thank you for taking thank the time. Thank you very kindly. Appreciate it's you very a much. It's great, great interview, and I hope you've enjoyed the programming. Again, this was almost lost. This was disappeared for 27 years. Luckily, Gary and I got back in contact with each other. We were able to resurrect and bring this presentation to you. And I think this is something that if you're an outdoors person, if you're a sportsman, a conservationist, uh, someone who really loves and enjoys the, the out of doors and the wildlife, this is something that you're going to want to hand down to your grandchildren, you know, and hopefully they'll hand it on down as well. Again, an American historian, twilight of a continent. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Andy Lightbody. Further information about Safari Club International and their worldwide wildlife conservation programs, 